All right. Today we have another set of very, very, very special guests. Our friends from Hanoi, Vietnam. That's right. We are so lucky because today we have the mother and son team of Vietnam Artists of Merit, Thuy Tien and uh, Suan D. All right, Z. That's right. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tien and Z on the show. Welcome to the show. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hi, Tien. Hi, Z. How are you? Yeah, we are fine. Thank you. And you? Uh, I'm okay. I'm uh, I'm safe here in Manila. By the way, uh, uh, Tien and Z, welcome to the show. Before we start, I'd like to thank you for doing this for me. It's such a big honor for us to have you both on the Puppet Stories. First, please tell everyone about yourself, your tandem as mother and son puppeteers. Uh, we'll start with Tien. Go ahead, Tien. Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Thuy Tien in Vietnam. I am an actor of merit. I work in the Thang Long Water Puppy Theater. Until now, almost 30 years. It's a long time for all my life to become a puppet. But one thing that in our theater, I perform water puppet. In Vietnam, we brow a pup, water puppet. Because only Vietnam we have a water puppet and every day we have a many so under the water culture water puppet. But right now I want to introduce this is my son. We have a so mother and son to attend in many international festivals. And we perform another kind of puppet. It's string puppet, hand puppet, and sometimes we perform is the water puppet. We have a perform water puppet in Romania, but this is a small puppet. And this is the first time the people in Romania can see water puppet. So we proud of that because we are family, but we can bring Chinese Vietnam puppet to the world. All right, what about C? Tell us about yourself, C. When did you start doing puppetry? And by the way, how old are you? Hi, uh, my name is Sun Zui. I am currently 17 years old. I study at high school for gifted students. And I began my puppet journey way back in the day, back in first grade. When I saw my mother developing her and perfecting her puppetry skills, I was intrigued and begged her to learn how to perform such an art. I began with two hand, two puppets on two on both hands, and performed in front of the school at eighth grade. Afterwards, I have been with my mother. We have a show. Called mother and son right yeah i remember i remember we saw you perform in Kanchanaburi and also in uh phuket and uh, also in ayutthaya in thailand uh, the mother and son uh, mother and son tandem of yen and uh zui very good all right okay so now my question you oh by the way uh zui you, re you mentioned you go to a school of gifted children. Is that correct? Yes. That uh, must be an expensive now. school. Is it a, an expensive school? No, it's not expensive because it, we call this is the school for a good student. That's well, why it's very cheap. It's in the name. <laughs> it's in the oh, name. I yeah, it's it's but, uh, this, yeah, this is the, the room of all the people in Vietnam because we call right. this is the, yeah, you see, the number one of school in Vietnam. I see, I understand. Everyone wants to, want to study there and 
the most important thing that we have a very very good picture well, and i can tell, you know what yeah i can tell it's a good school because uh zui zui uh speaks very very good english so that will if it's not expensive then it must be yeah. a school for bright children uh -huh. bright yeah. student good work all right with, which brings me to my next question, Tian. Uh, how did both of you start your career in puppetry? Uh, maybe we'll start with uh, Zui first. How did you start? Well, you already told us that you saw your mom, but when and how did you actually start your very, very first performance? Tell everyone. Well, do you remember? <laughs> that was a long time ago. A little bit of curiosity. Afterwards, it was a lot of practice. I didn't really know how to control puppets. I just knew that I, I want to. So my mom started teaching me how to, I don't know, where to even put the puppets in my hand. How, how do I control the head or the hands? How do I dance with them? How do I tell stories and perform at the same time. And afterwards, it was just a lot of practice. It was hard work, but I enjoyed every moment of it. Very well said. Hard work, but you enjoyed every minute of it. You know why? Because puppetry is all about fun and showing your culture and teaching uh, other people so very very well said what about you tian when did you start you you mentioned earlier that you started uh, uh more than 30 years ago yes you know when when he was six years ago i started to teach him how to control puppet but the first time for him just only to perform with the hand puppet like this and to say story in the school. But when I travel and I attend in international festival in the world, I saw so many, so many good show and I saw some family. So I want to bring him to attend in, in an international festival. And we start with the first international festival in Phuket. This time is 2016. And the first time when we wonder that which name that we should to put for our show, and you know that, uh, and uh, we think that very simple and easy that to put that mother and son because we are mother and son and we perform together, and everyone will remember that. Actually, it's a very very good idea, and it's very very refreshing to see a mother and a child performing together all right everyone before we uh, ask them more questions uh we'd like to show you a collection of pictures of uh the mother and son tandem of tian and zui check this out
All right, there we go. Oh, so uh, nice. Oh. Yeah. You remember all those uh, pictures, uh, Tien and Zui? You were all over. You were in Romania. You were in uh, uh, Phuket and in Bangkok and in uh, Ayutthaya, all over. Wow. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, tell me more about these photos, Tien and Zui. Uh, what you remember about these photos, all right? First picture. Oh, I remember this photo. It's a Harmony Puppy Festival in Thailand. And this is the big gift festival with so many people all around the world to be there and to perform. And after the show, I remember that, oh, everyone want to come on the stage and to cheers with me because this time I bring something special. This is uh, some puppet that I make by myself. This is a puppet made by bamboo and rattan. Oh. Yeah, I remember. And not only that, Tien, you were a one woman show. You did everything by yourself. Yes, I still remember this time everything. I make it by myself. I perform. I am director. I am a puppy. And I become everything in my soul. Oh my God. What about I this one? Of this time. Yeah. Oh, Manila. Uh, so lovely time in Manila, Philippines. Yeah. That's right. You remember you performed uh, at Resorts World in Manila with Tito Juan Lu and yeah. uh, Jody and Terrence and uh, Professor Ami, right? So this was yeah. in Manila. I have two more photos this time with uh, your son. Oh, <sighs> yes. <laughs> Do you remember the first time in Romania? Yes, it was so fun. And everything was everything was new to me. I it, it was uh, the first time I went to a European festival to perform puppets. It was amazing. I'm I'm sure it was amazing. The place looks nice. This was in Romania. Uh, what about the food in Romania? Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it's so nice. It's so yeah, the hotel is so good, and food is so nice. And the most important thing that the theater for children is a uh, is very very nice. They organize every year, and they invite so many groups all over the world to be there to perform for children. And remember, the children give up the flower after yes. yeah after the show. Oh my God. Oh, this that's very interesting. Very, very yeah. interesting. They give you flowers after performance. Yeah, right. I, uh, Tien and Zui, I have the last photo. I don't know if you remember this. This was what, a long time ago. <laughs> Do you remember? It's Ayutthaya. That's right. Ayutthaya <laughs> in Thailand. I think this was for a TV show. Yeah, yes. Do you remember this time you have interview with ah, yes. Ayutthaya? Yeah, I think it was the show of Nimit on Thai PBS and they interviewed uh, both of you and yeah. you were shown on Thai national TV. That was very, very nice. All right. Okay, uh, Tien and Zui, I have another question here. Uh, first, Tien, can you please tell everyone about uh, what is an artist of merit in Vietnam. What is it all about? Yeah, in Vietnam, when become an artist, everyone want to become artist of merit and people artists. This is the highest artist from the government. To for the artists that you have to been to an artist for twenty year and you got a lot of award from many international festival, for many festival in the country. And after that, the government will collect all the artists and choose which one is the best and give them a word, artist of merit. 
So that's why every artist in Hanoi and every artist in Vietnam want to become artist of merit because this is the highest artist. It means all the people remember you and you can keep acted of merit to hone your life. I see. So being an artist of merit in Vietnam uh, tells the world that you are not just a regular puppeteer, not just a regular artist, but a world-renowned artist and especially well-known in Vietnam. What about you, Zui? Uh, do you have any dreams of being a Vietnam artist of merit in the future? Well, uh... I'm still currently studying, so I, while I do enjoy performing puppets and uh, entertaining people and uh, show the world Vietnamese culture, I think that puppet, puppetry will most likely be only a hobby of mine. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, well, actually, Zui, you can never tell. Next time we see each other, maybe you're performing again, and uh, without knowing it, you forget all things, and you concentrate on puppetry. <laughs> we can never tell. All right, okay, which brings me to my next question. Of course, uh, uh, Zui, you, you were inspired by your mom. You told us about it earlier, but now I'd like to know, Tien, who inspired you? You know that uh, his mother and father is artist. Mother is a director of puppet, and mother, my mother is an artist. So everyone thinking that uh, I am uh, is a generation by generation, but I think that in my blues, this is puppet in my body. So that's why I love puppet all my life, and I teach my son to perform puppet, to perform even water puppet. And I hope one day that he will perform water puppet like me, but not become a professional puppet because you know that right now is that the children is thinking different. And they think uh, that this is a puppet, this is a hobby, it's okay. But you have to learn another um, job and you have to learn another kind of work. Play together, it's, it's the best and it's better for him. And in the future, I hope when he got married and he will teach your, her doctor on his, and his son to perform a little puppet. And I uh, my dream that to thinking about one day when I become a grandma, grandpa, something like that, and I can see some children can perform water puppet or perform puppet like me and like the family. Yeah, I understand what you what you're saying, Yan, because you are an artist of merit in Vietnam, so that's not that's not impossible. Imagining your grandchildren. Uh, performing with puppets in the future. All right. Okay. Uh, before we take a break, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to ask one more question. Uh, let me see. Let's talk about the COVID situation in Vietnam. How did COVID-19 affect the puppet theater in Vietnam? Because I heard from other Vietnamese artists uh, or Vietnamese puppeteers that the theaters are closed. Is this true? Yeah, it's so sad that because we spend four way time with COVID. So you know that with COVID, the first time and the first thing that the theater has to be closed. No one can come and we cannot open the theater during the way of COVID. But when the, the first time we just close only one month and after that after that we can open but you know that everywhere in the world have covid and no one can travel and very difficult for everyone to come to the theater because the theater have to you know that uh, in the theater 
everyone can see and everyone is there for so many people and everyone does worry about the COVID. So no one wants to come to the theater to see us. And we just worry about long time that we have to close. But one thing in Vietnam, all the for way of COVID, the government have to pay for each case of COVID. And we're so happy because you know, if you have COVID, hospital is so expensive, but we are in Vietnam and the government will pay for that. Wow, that's good news because here in the Philippines, uh, well, that's well, that's ex it's the exact opposite, I should say. <laughs> All right, uh, if in Vietnam, well, you have a very, very good government. So, uh, hello to the people in Vietnam. You're so lucky because uh, what she's saying, ladies and gentlemen, is if you if if by by sad chance you get COVID, uh, the government pays for your hospital. Yeah your medication and stuff. That's good for you and good for all the people in Vietnam. Sadly, in the Philippines, uh, I can't tell you. <laughs> Otherwise, I get in trouble. <laughs> Otherwise, somebody will get me here and bring me to the puppet uh, jail. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, but uh, here in Manila, the government has been uh, helping us with vaccination. So, so far, uh a lot of people have been getting free vaccination all right so that's good thing yeah. and uh kudos to our government here in the philippines as far as the vaccine is concerned all right uh before you perform for everyone i was wondering can you tell us about your experience in romania when they when they saw water puppetry for the first time. You know what? I was just imagining, Tien, it's so difficult to bring a puppet theater out of your country. How did you manage that? So when the organized to invite us to be there to perform water puppet, and they want only small water puppet on this show, and they hope that after the show, we can explain to everyone how to control water puppet. And we're thinking that it's very difficult to bring our theater to be there because if our theater to be there to perform water puppet, we need maybe one ton for whole a puppet and state. So I thinking that I told them that only to buy one swimming pool very very small swimming pool and they make swimming pool with the theater very very small theater for us to perform there and when we be there we only bring our small water puppy from vietnam for the romania people this is the first time for them they can see water puppy and because of small so they can control water puppet and they can try to control water puppet with us even children everyone enjoy it very much i can show you this is a very very small water puppet that we bring to romania and because this is a small like this and that's why the children and everyone can try how to control water puppet they enjoy it very much and at this time we are this is the first group for the festival can invite two times in romania because in romania everyone invite one group that's only one time and they want to change another group they don't want to invite one group for two times but our group mother and son the team we are so proud of that we are to be there two times, and the first time we perform so many kind of puppet, and the second time we perform water puppet, and we teach the children how to control water puppet with us. So proud of this time, and we hope when we got vaccine to everyone, we can be there again, and we can perform puppet all over the world. 
You know what, Ben? I can imagine. I can just imagine how the people of Romania uh, reacted when they saw water puppetry for the first time. Uh, it's an awesome, awesome uh, puppetry art. And I can imagine uh, their eyes uh, getting bigger and bigger as you were performing your water puppet uh, show. All right. Uh, you were showing us a puppet. That's not small. That's relatively big. The one you're holding. Yeah, this is a, this is a small water puppet. This is That's a machine of water one. puppet. It's very easy. Like this. Wow. Yeah. And this is the way that I teach uh, some students in the world to teach online. Yes, yeah, very easy. And you can imagine that this is a machine of the water puppy. And we can control like that. Yeah. Wow. Very easy. And control with that the is, hand. That yeah. is so interesting and, and very ingenious. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you can imagine, this puppet is um, a water puppet, so when they perform, it's on top of uh, water. Speaking of water, ladies and gentlemen, if you notice my background, I am in Halong Bay. Yay! That's right. Halong Bay is a very, very nice place in Vietnam. I, I was there in 2015. Oh, no, 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 in 2012. And uh, yeah, let, let, let me check. Oh, nice place. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check. Oh, there we go. Ah, nice, nice. Very nice. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> okay, I almost broke my neck. <laughs> Tien. All right, Tien, let's talk to your son, uh, Zui. Uh, what kinds of puppets do you perform? I mean, what, what kinds of puppets do you use when you perform? I can perform a multitude, a variety of puppets. I can... As I've stated before, I can perform uh, hand puppets. After that, I've learned marionettes. Also, recently, I learned um, hand puppets, I believe they're called. Yeah, and water puppet. Ah, yes, water yeah. puppets. And one thing oh. that right now they have me to teach how to make puppet by bamboo and rattan. It's very special because you know that it's a bamboo and rattan is very hot, but we can make puppet and we can teach everyone how to make puppet by bamboo and rattan and control that. Look at this. Oh, all right. Are you performing now? Are you ready to perform? If you're yeah, ready to perform, ready to, uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, I think they're ready to perform. So please welcome uh, a sample performance of uh, Vietnam National, uh, I mean, Vietnam Artist of Merit, uh, Tui Tien, and her son, Suan Dui, Suan Zi. And this is the mother and son tandem. Go ahead. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, this is a uh, some puppet and small item with the puppet by bamboo and rattan. You can imagine what it is. What kind of this? Turtle. Yeah. yeah, and you can see what it is. Wow. Dragon. What it is? Oh, oh peacock. Ah. This is a phoenix. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Like this. It's for animal in Vietnam is very, very important. That's phoenix, turtle, lion, and dragon. And all of them I make it. Yeah, this is bamboo and rattan. Right. I, uh, Tien, I remember you did this in Bangkok for the Harmony Festival. Yes. And this time, I performed just only my solo. And after that, everyone the curious how to make puppet by bamboo and rattan. That's why I, I can teach them online right now how to make puppet by bamboo wow. and rattan like this. 
it's very easy. It depends on your emergency. Right, yeah. right, right. That is very, very nice and very, very ingenious because it's bamboo and rattan. Those uh, materials are also available in the Philippines. So that would be very interesting. Yes. All right. Any other puppets you'd like to show us? Uh, maybe uh, a marionette. Do you have a marionette you can show us? Yeah. And my son will perform right now. We All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right, we have a performance coming up this time by uh, Zuan Z. Yes. Vietnam. All right, let's check this out. <laughs> See, that was very, very well done. Wow. Hey, good work. Thank you. Yeah, well, well I can say that you, you, you made the, oh, no, it's it's thunders and lightning in the Philippines. Oh, no, wait a minute. Before, before I tell you, uh, before we, before I tell you more about the weather in the Philippines, uh, I, I have to say this, Z, you made the puppet come to life. It, it was like a real, real girl dancing. You did very well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we end the show, we always ask this to all our special guests. So, Tien and Zui, uh, what is your puppet story? Our puppet story to talk about my culture, Vietnam. The first time when we make puppet, we thinking that we want to introduce everyone through the show and through the puppet. You can understand the culture of Vietnam, depend on the uh, puppet made by bamboo and rattan, depend on the puppet with the music. And sometimes I make puppet with whole Chinese nerve and I wear in Chinese nerve Vietnamese. So, and what I want to introduce to everyone, to the audience, that this is a puppy from Vietnam. And when they saw our show, when after the show, you remember, oh, I just see Vietnamese puppet. And you just know even a little Vietnamese culture, but we proud of to bring Vietnamese culture through puppy to the world. Wow, very well said, Tian. What about you, Z? Go ahead, Z. What's your puppet story? I think uh, my puppet story, beyond just uh, oh, showing Vietnamese culture through puppets, is to inspire young people to find their passion and follow it. Because when I'm doing puppets, I, I really enjoy it. And I think 
well, even though I'm young, but life is a bit too short not to follow what you want to do and at least find it. All one right. Thing, that, yeah. yeah. One thing that, ahead, yeah. No, Z in Vietnam, this is the this is the only one young papita in Vietnam. Because in Vietnam, most of them to become a papita when you start to study in university. But we, we just start to become a young papita when we six years old and we can perform around the world. So we hope that everyone can do and can follow him. And everyone can understand that puppet not choose young people or old people. Even you I young or you old or any if you can control water puppet, you can control puppet and you can bring happy to everyone. That's right. This you know one what? Thing, yeah, yeah. One thing that I hope and, uh, yeah, inspired uh, to that follow that. Yeah, exactly what I mean because uh, Zui said he wants to inspire young uh, people in Vietnam to find their passion. Not just puppetry, of course, whatever your passion is, but it would be nice if it would also be puppetry. All right, uh, Tien and Zui, before we end the show, because it's raining cats, dogs, dinosaurs, <laughs> reptiles, elephants in, in Manila. Uh, what would you like to tell everyone? And you can probably say hello to everybody in Hanoi and in Ho Chi Minh and everybody else in Vietnam. Go ahead. Yeah, I hope everyone been got the vaccine. After we got vaccine, we can open many, many shows in all over the world and we can bring puppy to the world. Hope to see everyone in the future. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tien and Zui. All right. And again, thank you very much for being on the show. And I hope to see you in Phuket or maybe in, uh, I don't know, wherever the next festival is, God willing. Okay. So thank you very much, uh, Tien and Zui, for being on the show. We miss you. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Sun Zui. I'm Chi Tien. We are from Vietnam. We're here to say happy anniversary to the Papet Stories from TNC all the way in the Philippines. Congratulations, Juan Lu and Nicolo. What a job well done. Once, Once again, again, happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Congratulations, Congratulations from, from Vietnam. Vietnam.